Welcome to the annual ThunderQuest, one of Michigan's largest regional first LEGO robotics competition at Henry Ford II High School. 60 teams tackling real-world problems with solutions from the Brickiverse. Some of them are fourth, one is fifth, and there's three third graders. Eight-year-old Brooke Stricker is another third grader representing Team Scuba Rex. I build the squid and the little spin thing. All under this year's theme, Submerged. It's really important that we have awareness of the environment and developing solutions to things like um, water pollution or environmental issues are important. Adeline Paul is a high school senior who received a $10,000 grant to create and mentor 13 elementary LEGO teams taking part in the 23rd edition of the competition. How involved are you in their ideas and concepts? Ultimately, it's about empowering their voice and seeing what they come up with and helping you know, promote their ideas and push their ideas forward. That's what your job is as a mentor. Divided into two categories, the first LEGO League challenge is for teams of students ages 8 to 12 tasked to build and program a LEGO robot. While first LEGO League Explore, teams of students ages 6 to 10 focused on the fundamentals of engineering. So these students are not only learning essential STEM skills, but they're also developing as leaders, as innovators, as problem solvers, and those skills are transferable across all industries. Dan Shampo is the CEO of Gekot Robotics, a company he started from an idea he snapped during the 2019 competition. That year the theme was City Living, and the students I was working with from East Hills Middle School they researched a problem uh, related to accidents and injuries related to using a rental electric scooters. So they said, hey, could we put a collision avoidance system on one of these vehicles? So I've got 10 kids now that are named on a patent. Oh wait, two patents. And now um, we've launched a company. I've now got eight employees. We're about to make our first sale. How pleasantly surprised and proud you are that you got ideas from little kids. Well, I often say these kids think outside the box because there is no box. That's why these little Lego masters are stacking up creativity and innovation to the next level, one brick and giggle at a time. Gonna win? Yeah, I'm confident. Now, winners from this competition will head to the state championship, which takes place in January of 2025, and then, of course, there's the world championship. So to learn more about the competition overall, just head to WXYZ.com. In Sterling Heights, I'm Faraz Javed, 7 News, Detroit.